Colin Smith was just seven when he died after being treated for haemophilia with blood contaminated by HIV. I swear by Almighty God. Today, at the infected blood inquiry, his parents described what had happened to him. They said doctors never told them about concerns since uncovered in medical documents that haemophiliacs were at that time considered to be at risk from infected blood products. It was never spoken about. We just believed the doctor. You know, they were treating Colin and it sounds terrible, but he was like a god to us. So why would I ask any questions about We thought he was getting the best treatment possible. As Colin became more ill, rumours spread about the nature of his illness. It was the mid-1980s, the height of the AIDS scare. His family were the target of abuse. I got up one morning and there was AIDS dead written across the side of the house in a good six foot meters. Constant phone calls, day and night. He should be put down, put on an island. He shouldn't be allowed to sleep with his brothers. You know. Colin died in January 1990. His family say they talk about him every day and now want the truth. I still have trouble today, the fact that he's in a grave on his own and the guilt will never go away. People don't realise just what this thing has done to people. You know, took lives, maimed people. It's always devastation. We need justice. After the hearing, Chair Sir Brian Langstaff thanked the Smiths and there was applause. <laughs> they now hope those responsible for their son's death will be held to account. Richard Morgan, ITV News.